Greetings all. Well, this evening we're looking at Super Typhoon Hag Ibis. I'm calling it Hag Ibis rather than Hagibis because it's Ibis in it. Uh, but it has passed through the Marianas Islands here. Guam is down here. And it's now heading up towards Tokyo, uh, Honshu and Tokyo. And this is why we're looking at it, because it is currently tracking over uh, towards Honshu and over Tokyo, Tokyo Yokohama region in here is home to 40 million people. So uh, the storm is at hurricane strength um, category two by the looks of things at landfall uh, before it moves back out into the Pacific according to the uh, JTWC forecast. The timing of arrival looks like, uh, so 12 at 6Z is um, via Saturday afternoon. Now first we should note that this is a huge typhoon. It's a really, really large. If we compare it to the Faxe that made landfall near Tokyo last month, it, you can see Faxe is on the right and Hagibis, Hagibis is on the left. Uh, and it is just, uh, it is much, much bigger. Hagibis already passed through the Marianas Islands and missed Guam and Saipan to the north, although they got impacted by the outer circulation. The main island it actually hit was Anatahan, which is an active volcano and uninhabited. Jumping in with the GFS, uh, because it is a quite crazy. Um, the storm comes up and is maintaining pretty low pressure uh, and then there is some weakening prior to landfall. But look at the extent of the heavy rain. It is uh, very widespread because it is so such a large storm and as it moves up and this is 18Z on Friday and this is so uh, this is essentially Saturday morning and Saturday morning You've got the whole of uh, northern Honshu under rain, and very heavy rain, extremely heavy rain across uh, areas near Tokyo and just to the west of Tokyo and east of Tokyo, pretty much all that area. And then it continues up more extreme rainfall. <clears throat> this is very, very seriously heavy rain up in the top of the scale. And then it finally moves out and away and so the rain finally stopping around 18z on saturday that's uh, saturday night another thing we can look at is the 24 hour total rainfall in millimeters and this shows you a sort of a swath of the storm over 24 hours where it's raining and you see the rain moving up and over tokyo region and the whole of eastern honshu um, and it goes up and it's really getting up into the uh, 300 millimeters in 24 hours, 30 centimeters. And I suspect uh, it is looking like half a meter of rain in some locations and probably perhaps more. Here's yet another plot of the rain. This one is showing the storm total rain or the total rain across the simulation. So it leaves a path through where all the rain is has fallen. So you, get, you see the track of the storm essentially moving up and over Japan, Honshu, and it gives you an idea of the actual complete totals of the rain, which are getting up above uh, 300 to 400, maybe some 500 millimeters of rain for the storm totals. And this will all be falling in a uh, short-ish period of time, I mean, not over the simulation, it's uh, mostly probably within a 24-hour period across these areas. So it certainly looks like a probable serious flash flood situation for Eastern Honshu and Tokyo is going to, according to this, get in a, a, a very extreme period of heavy rainfall. 